Oh man, welcome. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a Lake Linville. Look at this. Oh, it's going by. A little camper we got out here on our little farm. Look at that. Look at this like weird haze we got coming in, blowing in this morning. So hazy. I don't know if it's from the lake or, or what's going on. It's just kind of kind of dark and hazy out. Oh man. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what happened over here. We uh we plowed this field up yesterday. And this morning, <laughs> it's full of weeds. What happened? What happened to my field? It's absolutely full of weeds. <laughs> These are the fastest growing weeds I've ever seen. Oh, bad. <laughs> it don't matter though. We're gonna be tilling this up anyways when we plant. Um, so I'm not overly concerned, but um, yeah. The weeds kind of caught me off guard there. We're gonna have to make some changes to that. Anyways, I've got uh, that far, the old soybean field on the far side. Well, you can't even see it because of the haze, but there's a shed just off in the distance. You can see down there. That's kind of the end of the field. It's about the same size as this field we did yesterday. I do need to get to work on that, but first things first. We need to go up to the old uh, uncle shop there, grab some more equipment. We do need to, well, lime this field. And as well, we're going to need to get, uh, well, some more fuel probably. I'm almost out of fuel, I think, in our tank. We've been pulling this farm all up i gotta find some solution for the farm here we need to find a, fu a fuel solution to store fuel here the tank just isn't big enough in this so we'll need to figure that out at some point as well anyways let's uh let's jump in the uh toyota here and head back over to the farm get this new piece of equipment shall we all right guys pitter patter clutch simulations all right away we go up to the farm now I don't know if he's going to be home or not this morning. We're going to find out. I still haven't seen him yet. So uh, I hope Uncle's he's around. I wouldn't mind chatting with him. But we're just going for a quick cruise around the county here. We'll take a look at uh, the back side of this field. I wanted to take a look at this shed. I've just been kind of driving around the tractor. And I saw at the back side there. I was hoping it would be a good spot for us to store some equipment eventually. I don't know yet. Yeah, it's just another shed. Okay, so we could put some equipment up here at some point as well. Uh, we'll see exactly what we can store up here. But you can see another decent little storage spot. Ah, nice. Yeah, we can store stuff up here. This field is, where is it? It's right there. So you can see that's our, our farm down below there, our, our RV. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, the soybean field that oh, is no longer a soybean field. It's totally withered. I got to plow that up today. Wait till the sun comes up a little bit here, but uh, we'll head over to the main house again. I, I gave him a call. Uh, he didn't answer. He just sent me a text. I just need to borrow... I need to borrow some spreaders. I need to something to lime this field down with. We're trying to get the soil back to uh, back to normal. Like I said, no one's touched these fields for years. So I gotta do whatever I can. Probably need to fertilize too. I'll see what he's got for planters or cedars. I might have to borrow something. Look at these old houses on the up on the lake here. So nice. So such a nice area. Everything's so much more calm and relaxed. No one's worrying about stuff here. Pretty cool. County mill. There we go. Look at that nice old mill out the count countryside here. Got our fuel station right here so fuel isn't too far away for me if i do need it at least we do have a fuel station on this side as well of course where we were uh yesterday when we were in town there's a fuel station there as well but anyways so as for the old uncle's farm here uncle joe's farm is just up around the corner and uh, like i said i'm gonna find i need the lime spreader i hope he's got some lime i can maybe pilfer a little bit of lime off him as well he shouldn't mind right i think i'll be fine with that but here we go actually here's this farm right here by far the biggest farm in the county. Um, got a big farm. Let's cut through his grain uh, bin system right here. Look at this. <laughs> no, he looks so good. Uh, I'm going to go pull up the house and see if he's around. Uh, oh, his truck's gone. Hmm. You know what? We'll pull in anyways. We'll see if, uh, if anyone's home here. Hello? Anyone around? Hello? Hello, hello? Anyone home? What's going on? Hello? Oh, uh, doesn't... Look, look, anyone's here, guys. Ah, oh, man. You know what? Let me let me go check the phone. I got my phone still in the truck there. We'll take a quick look at that thing and see if uh, he responded to me properly out here on this. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, heading to Hawaii. We'll be back in a week. Lovely. All right. So um, I guess we'll just help ourselves to his equipment for the time being. Um, I guess he's got his furnace on or something. Hot water tank, maybe? Interesting. It looks like it's going out of his chimneys. Anyways, uh, let's jump in the Toyota here. We'll take a look. Let's go do a cruise through his equipment lane down back there. And we'll see what he's got. Like I said, I do need something to spread some fertilizer. 
And then uh, fertilizer and lime. I'm going to do fertilizer too. I definitely need to do lime. Take a look at the, at the fields and see what kind of shape they're in. We definitely need to do some lime though. So what do we got over here? I know we've got, oh, we've got a combine over here. Yeah, we got a combine and we got a John Deere. I don't need anything quite like that. What do we got next uh, next door? I think that's just more bins. Yeah, we don't need that. We're good there. We got fuel here. It looks like we got some fuel up here as well. I, I'll use what we got. Like I said, I'd like to build something uh, in order to bring fuel into the farm. I'd like to have some kind of a fuel tank brought right onto the farm. I might have to buy that myself though. Let's see here. All right, this is what I'm looking for. So we got a couple cultivators. We got some cedars, we got a planter, and oh, there we go. We got a Vatterstad spreader right there. Yeah, this is will work. Oh, that's going to be big. Um, oh, no, it's a Bredal. That was a Vatterstad. That was a Bredal. Never mind. Um, guys, this is going to be big. Can our, can our farm all handle this? Only one way to find out, I suppose. You know what? Let's hook it up. To the Another question. Can the Toyota tow this? What is the weight? It's got to be able to handle it, right? I I mean, this... Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, the weight limit for the towing capacity on these little trucks is not great. I mean, we're looking probably five to 6,000 pounds maximum. Uh, I hope we can handle this. I mean, we don't need to tow it on the highways or anything like that. But I'm just worried about weight. The suspension's really not meant to deal with this. All right, we, we got a little bit of sag. Not much, a little bit. Uh, let's go drag this over. I gotta pop this top on it. We'll have to lift the top off. Let's see. Where does he have? Uh, let's take a quick look around here. Where was his feed stock be? Um, oh, I bet you it's that silo down there. I can see. Yeah, I see some bags. It looks like a seed down in that, uh, that shop. And then I think the silo is where he has fertilizer and seed. Let's go, uh, we'll just go fill up. Why not, right? Let's go take a look. Let's hop on in. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got this. Now, <laughs> we're empty right now, of course. Once we have this thing filled up, then what? Is that what's going to happen then? Um, that's going to be the question. Now, which side does this open up? Oh, it looks like we've got to go the other way. Let's spin this thing around, and we'll drive on in. Spin around, and then pull it in this way here. There we go. That looks good. Uh, before we pull in, let me make sure I pop out, and we'll open this uh, this lid up. All right, lid is opened. Let's uh, let's fill it up. Let's get some fertilizer. Fertilizer, lime. I want lime, not fertilizer. Come on, you know what you're talking about, right? Come on, clutch. Pull us ahead, nice and easy. Don't want to hit the uh, the roof <laughs> on the spout of the silo. Uh, that's all we need. There we go. That looks better. All right, let's uh, get on out. Go we'll activate this. Turn this on. Where does the control at the back on this? Let's even get this thing to work. And there we go. Look at that. Nice. She's full. Perfect. We're totally full up on that. That looks great. I'm happy. Cool. Um, <laughs> um, just looking at the way the truck's sitting. Uh, it's not, it looks a little worse for wear right now. Guys, we're going to find out if we can handle this or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> These red tires are almost off the ground. Uh, this happens to me every time, I swear. Why do I always do this to myself? <laughs> And away we go. Give it a little gas. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. We got lots of power. Lots of power. Oh, I think we're good. Oh, man. It's too bad this truck has so much tint on the windows. It's the one problem I'm having with it. I wish I could roll these things down. Problem with the uh, manual window rollers. They don't seem to work on this one. All right. Yeah, she's, uh, she's squatting just a touch. <laughs> uh, maybe I should put some more air pressure in those rear tires, guys. I don't know. <laughs> nice all right the toyota's doing it perfect all right let's get this back down to our farm um problem two can the farm all handle it that's that's gonna be problem two can the farm all handle this bridal <laughs> spreader I, I really don't know but we better put our hazards on here just in case um i'm a little concerned that uh <laughs> yeah, well, you, you get the point. I've got it matted right now, and the most we can do is like 31 miles an hour. And it sounds like there's a bearing going. Uh, yeah, there's something going on. I don't know. I don't think the Toyota's liking the, uh, I don't think the Toyota's liking this trailer, guys. You just hear the thing just a squealing away. 
All right, I'm going to take it easy going down this hill. If, if uh, the acceleration is this bad and the handling is bad, I don't know what the brakes are going to be like. I really don't have to worry about the bottom of this hill. I'd be into this guy's garage. <laughs> Just come right to the bottom and end up straight into his garage. Slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. Nice. Perfect. You know what? The brakes aren't bad. All right. There we go. Looks good. <laughs> All right. Perfect. You know what? Let's just leave this right here. Get our lights off. We'll disconnect. Uh, we'll disconnect this trailer, and we do need to get some fuel into the farm all first. I got the uh, plow still on the back. I believe do we still have the, the plow back here. Yeah, we do. We'll knock that thing down. I guess we're gonna lime right over the weeds for now, and we'll let we'll let the weeds disappear once we uh, we get into planting. Yeah, I guess we'll have to do that. But you know what? Actually, speaking of which, I don't know. We're not gonna we're not liming yet. We're gonna plow that soybean field. That's gotta happen first. But I still need to get fuel in the farm all. So let's do that. We'll drop this off just to get it out of the way. This can stay right here for now. But uh, we do need to get that plow, that field plowed first. So let me do that. Go we'll jump up into the farm all, and I believe, yeah, we need some fuel. Um, the gauge doesn't work as we found out yesterday, but we definitely need some fuel. It goes. Fires it up. Nice. All right. Let's uh, go pull this over beside our fuel tank. We'll refill this thing up. Perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. All right. Looks good. Get some fuel in this thing. All right. Give her a good pull. Let's fire it up. And... Fill this bad boy up there. Perfect. All right. Farmall is fueled up, guys. We got 176 liters in this. We still got quite a bit, I suppose. But this farmall tends to go through the fuel. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All the way over, and let's get rid of that soybean field. I'm really kind of disappointed about these weeds. <laughs> it looked so nice before, and now I'm looking at just a field full of weeds. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. That, that really shouldn't have happened overnight, but it did. So we'll, we're going to deal with that. Oh, man. Of course it did. So this was soybeans, like I said. Should we do soybeans again? I mean, we're resetting all these fields. I want to do soybeans. Like soybeans and wheat, I think. Kind of some staple crops. Uh, I think that's what we'll probably end up doing. All right. Drop that blade down. Looks good. All right. There we go. Get a little bit here, right there, where I want to be sitting. Man, such a, such a tough spot to figure out with this, this bloody tractor. I've got to figure this out one of these days. There we go. I think we're right where I want to be. I get this this tire on the left here, kind of like right on the edge. Um, that's the best way to do it. And then you kind of figure out where you want to be. Once you get going, you'll start to see the grooves from, uh, from where you plowed. And it does make life a little bit easier. Now... You know what? One thing as well. I'm going to get to the top of this, and I'm going to stop, I think. We'll stop at the top. Look at that. Come on, Clutch. Drive in a straight line. <laughs> uh, it's not, It doesn't matter. I've got a plan to fix this anyways. But we're going to get to the top here, and instead of going up and down, I want to go side to side, which makes a lot more sense. I was thinking about this yesterday, actually, as I was doing this. Why am I going up and down the field with uh, a tractor that's somewhat... I wouldn't say underpowered for what we're doing. It's a little low on the power side. But when we could just go side to side instead, that makes a lot more sense. And uh, I don't have to worry about slowing down going up the hill. I'll, I'll manage to hold the same speed because we're going across the field instead of going up and down the field. That just makes more sense. Come on. I mean, that was kind of a bonehead idea because over in that field there, we went up and down. And, yeah. What was I thinking? Come on, Clyde. Go with the program. <laughs> All right. We'll spin this bad boy around. Look at that. What a mess. Why did I even bother? Oh, man. All right. Let's make sure we actually line this up properly this time. Blades back down. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Go. All right. There we go. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, this is going to take us a few hours once again. Like I said, this is uh, a bit of slow go, but you know what? When you're starting out in the farm and this is all you've got for equipment, you got you to gotta do what you got to do. I suppose I could run back and go grab uh, one of Uncle Joe's John Deere's. I mean, that might make life a little bit easier. Should do that, shouldn't I? Yeah, whatever. We're, we're, we're going to live with what we got. It is what it is. 
We've got, uh, like I said, we're still, we're doing okay. We've got lots of room in this to, to move here, but I just need to kind of slowly get ourselves set up, established out here in the county. I'm just going to enjoy what I've got for now. And plus, look at this. Look at this view. I'm not going to get this anywhere else. I can hang out in a tractor for a couple hours here. I'm in no rush. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Let me spin this bad boy around. We'll head back the other way. Let's see here. Yeah, right about there. We'll leave the blade down this time <laughs> until the end. Up. Nice. Spin around and back in again. I like it. Oh boy. There we go. You know, you can usually get that front tire just set in one of the grooves. And you should. Yeah, see, now it's set properly. Once I get that front tire set up in the groove, then I can kind of figure out where I'm going. And it makes life a lot easier for me. There we go. So now we're going to be going left to right instead of, well, north to south. Does that make sense? East to west to north to south. Um, that really makes a lot more sense than what we were doing yesterday, guys. <laughs> Don't know why I was doing that. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get to work on this. Oh, yeah, looking good. Let's see if we're going over a bunch of snowed, snowed out plants. Not much left of us. Not much at all. All right, there we go. She is done. It's just afternoon. Oh, grab a quick bite to eat. But, uh, man, <laughs> look at this poor farm all. We've been <laughs> beating the snow out of this thing. Look at how dirty it is. It's an absolute mess. Oh, well. Um, job's done. Job is done. You can see we got all the way through down to the bottom here. Things look pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, this field, well, we've still got the weeds, of course. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've got to, well, whatever. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm not going to deal with that. It's fine. It's going to get, like I said, it's going to get tilled up when we plant. We'll, we'll use a direct drill and we'll just, uh, we'll go through it that way. That's going to be the best bet, I think. Uh, I think that'll work. Cool. Let me uh, go pull this in. I'm going to drop this plow off. I'm going to go into the trailer grab bite to eat quickly. I'm going to hook up uh, to the spreader there. And I need to... Do I need to get fuel? I can probably put some fuel on this thing as well. Well, we're only down a quarter tank. It's not too bad. Oh, that was a close swing. Um, and uh, we're going to go in the field. Spread some lime. All right. Let's, uh, let's go grab some food. I'm starving. Okay. I think it's time. I think we're good. I got the, uh, <laughs> the tractor hooked up to our spreader. Guys, I hope this can handle this. It does look like you're squatting a little bit back here. We're going to find out. I wonder if I... Man, I almost wonder if I should get some duels and put them on this. I know we got duels up at the farm. I saw them in one of the sheds when we were putting our truck away there. I think we could probably slap those on if we needed to. I'm not worried if... I don't think traction is going to be my problem, though. It's going to be horsepower. Let's be perfectly honest. This thing is heavy. I don't know what our weight is. is it, tell me what our weight is anywhere on this, on when she's loaded. I have no idea. Um... Yeah, guys, I don't know if this is going to handle it or not, but we're going to find out. Let's hop on up. Let's uh, lower down the uh, the arms. See them coming down there? Nice. All right. Let's uh, put her in gear and go out. I'm going to go all the way down to the very end. And we'll start down in that far field and work our way back. I think that's how I'm going to work this. We'll get both of these done. How do we look down here? Are those tires still strutting touch the ground? You know what? Not bad. I think we'll be okay. I, I think I think it can handle it. Okay. Well, if it can, I'm happy. Um, yeah, it feels like we're getting some good traction up front. Just doing some general steering here. I think it's handling it okay. Uh, one, one way to tell, we're, well, as soon as we fire up, we're going to climb this hill. And this is going to be the test. Um, it's not the steepest part. Like, the steepest part will be right here, of course. I'm going to go to the far end. Climb that side. I do have a bit of an out, of course. I can just shut this down, drag it up at the top, and then go side to side. We're going to see if this farm all can handle this hill. I, I want to see if it can handle the climb. I don't know if it can, but, well, we're going to find out. All right, nice and easy. Get her lined up. All right, let's fire this up. All right, excellent. Cool. Let's see if we can climb this hill. Let's watch be going the other way i should be going with my uh my lines but i know uh we're doing some testing we're trying to find out what kind of power we can expect out of this tractor and we're a little bit off let's get a little bit closer to this side here come on baby down to nine See if she can hold speed come on climb this thing down to eight about eight for a sec yeah struggling a little bit oh, i don't think we're uh, we're not really spinning tires 
So it's it's definitely a horsepower issue. I don't think, well, maybe those back tires are spinning a touch every once in a while. It's really tough to tell, though. I don't think there's much spin wheel spin going on there. Uh, I think, you know what? It's doing it. I just don't think, once again, I think we're going to be better off to go uh, east-west instead of north-south on this field just to make life a little bit easier for us and then we don't have to worry about climbing the hill. I think that'll be best off, which we're almost at the top here. We're down to six, probably almost five miles an hour in the grand scheme of things here. Yeah, I think we're going to get to the top and we're just going to stay up on the top and then work our way down. Boom. All right, perfect. Get right to the end. Shut her down. Cool, guys. That actually worked. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I wasn't even sure if that was going to do a thing or not. All right. And go straight through this way. Excellent. Now, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to cut all of the way across the far side. Ah, let's go all the way down. I want to cut. I'm going to go straight across the field and cut it right on down. And why is she struggling so hard right now? Feels like it's struggling a little bit. I guess it's not doing bad. Yeah, it's tough to say. It's really tough to say. I'm, I'm, uh, I feel like it's slowing down, but maybe, well, going from 11 down to 9, I guess, you're noticing that. I, I guess that's the only thing I'm noticing. It's kind of strange that way. Looks good, looks good. We'll get right to the edge. Shut her down again. Just push right on through. We'll go into our weed field here. <laughs> uh, growing weeds. Uh, we're planting weeds. Love it. Fantastic. Fire back up. All right. Excellent. All right. We'll keep on cutting all the way through. And uh, yeah, guys, this is um, this won't be quite as bad as plowing. It'll still take us a little bit of time, of course. But this is a fun tractor. I enjoy driving this thing. I mean, we're out in the open fresh air. We're out in the lake. I mean, look at this. Where else are you going to get a view like this? Even this, though, I'm struggling to touch. Come on. I'm getting pretty muddy. I need to get a pressure washer up here. Oh, yes. Well, you know what? We've got to hide out for a bit. I don't think there's a better place for us to be doing this, guys. Uh, this is great for, for what we're doing. Just a little bit of farming. Just hanging out. We've got an old tractor. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to uh, make a little bit extra cash. Just have to live off, essentially, for the time being. I don't know. Let's see what we can get into out here. Um, just stay low for the next little bit. Maybe get ready for a, for a quick harvest and uh, flip some stuff around. Make some money and then we'll see where we can go from there. I've got some ideas. I've been thinking. I've been thinking about some ideas just driving around the last couple hours here. And I've got some ideas for uh, for something maybe old Uncle Joe might be involved or might be willing to jump into. We'll see. We'll see when we get to it. But for right now, I'm just going to drive my farm all. <laughs> uh, it's pretty sweet. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today, guys. I'm going to finish off lime in these fields. Right to the end. Shut it down. Uh, once we're done this, well, we'll see if we can worry about seeding tomorrow. I think we'll get some seed in the ground, and uh, maybe we'll go back over to uh, Uncle Joe's farm there and see if there's anything he needs done well, since the silly bugger's down in Hawaii, and we're going to have to take care of his farm for him. But until then, uh, I think we'll worry about seeding our stuff and getting this all prepped and good to go. So, yeah, that's what our plan is for tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do already. Drop that like, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already done so, if it's your first time here. Come say hi. Make sure you say hi in the comments. If your first time watching one of the videos, you made it to the end. Say hi down below. Say it's your first time. I'd love to hear from you. Anyways, we have a fantastic day, and I will catch you guys next time from... Where the heck am I again? Lakeland Vale. This is Clutch. Over and out.